Hey guys, it's Applement. Welcome back again to my channel. For today's video, as you know by the title, we are doing the Tune Me Challenge, which is a brand new thing that has been floating around social media lately. But before we get into it, I'm just setting up my couch here to make an interesting background because I'm gonna be taking a photo of myself in front of it and basically turning everything in the photo, me and my background, into a cartoon. So let's just get right into it. So if you guys don't know what the Tune Me Challenge is, basically for the past week or two, at least that's how long I've been seeing it for, this challenge has been floating around on social media a lot, on YouTube. People have been taking a portrait of themselves and turning half of it in whatever kind of creative way they want to into their drawing slash cartoon version of themselves. This is like the perfect thing for me because I first of all love taking things and redrawing them in my style. And second of all, I don't really do portraits of myself. And so this is kind of a fun way and incentive to sit down and actually draw myself. The way you split it down the middle, from what I understand, doesn't really matter. It's kind of like a creative choice. So I wanted to include about half of my face in an interesting way, kind of squiggly, uh, as well as most of whatever's on the right side of me because I wanted to redraw a lot of that. That is why I kind of arranged the background the way I did. I chose some of my favorite plushes, which I have a huge collection of real Akuma plushes and other little friends and stuff. And so uh, I just chose a few cute ones to put behind me to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I threw down my sloth blanket which I got for Christmas from some friends. So I just wanted to make this something interesting to look at, nothing too plain in the background. I could have stood in front of like a white wall, but why would you want to see me draw that? <laughs> There's not much there. In terms of actually drawing myself, the main challenge with this whole thing is to be able to take whatever is from reality and stick to the anatomy slash proportions you know, it's as much as you can with your style, um, as well as turning it into your own style. So the whole thing for me was to change my face and myself into my style without kind of screwing with my proportions too much. Uh, so I think personally, I ended up maybe sticking a little too closely to my own anatomy, as in like the shape of my shoulders and this and that. But I did try to change the shape of my face a bit to conform more to how I normally draw faces, as well as my hair, I kind of filled it in a bit more, made it a little more fluffy, and that way I had more to shade and something more interesting to color and draw. I didn't want it to be too straightforward, uh, so I did not make this a direct trace because that wouldn't be any fun, and that's also not in the spirit of the project, um, or at least for me, that's not in the spirit of it. I, I guess it depends how you normally draw things. So I definitely went and made my eyes a bit bigger and I made my mouth on the drawn portion of it a bit bigger. One struggle that I had was like how to do the nose, I guess, because when I draw noses, I tend to kind of do two like dots or lines and then I fill it in with like a shade in the middle. So I kind of did that here to show one side of the nose, but I, I was hoping it wouldn't make my nose look too like big or too wide because I was hoping that my, I guess the way I draw noses would easily translate or connect to my actual face. I think it ended up looking okay. I ended up moving it a bit later to kind of fix it, but overall I think, I think it looked fine. <laughs> and I don't think that the, like the shading, for example, under my chin, as you guys can see, it's obviously not that dramatic on the side with my portrait, but that's how I would sit down to shade if I was just drawing a photo or something in general. And that's kind of how I went at this. I knew this was me and I wanted to stick to the anatomy of myself underneath on the original portrait, but I also wanted to make sure it was something that if I was sitting down to just draw this as a random person or a random piece of art, how would I normally shade it? I wasn't really trying to follow any kind of specific lighting or rules from the other side of the photo. I just wanted to stylize it as much as I could. And 
then another thing I was really excited to do was to add in the ombre in my hair because I have an ombre. If you guys have noticed, it kind of fades into like an orangey color into a blonde. And I do need to get rid of that, by the way. I have to cut my hair soon. <laughs> it's It's been a long time. But I was excited to add that in here because it definitely gives me a little bit more depth in my hair and it makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. And so I, I, I just like I just like having an excuse to draw ombres and fades in hair in general. So why not, right? When it came to working on my little friends, I keep calling them my little friends, but my little flushes on the right side. I wanted to make their line art similar to what it was underneath, and I did that a lot for the little Rilakkuma on the right. The little Sumiko penguin in the middle, I wanted to do him a little bit more like pudgy. I made him a bit more round and I made his face a little more cutesy. More similar to how I would normally draw a face like that if I was making it for like an enamel pin or something. If you guys follow my enamel pins or my shop, you'll know that I tend to do a lot of my little animal faces like that kind of style, the cutesy little eyes. And so I kind of changed him a little bit to be a little bit more less like how he actually looked and kind of change it to look like if I just sat down to draw him. So I think of the three blushes on the right, the penguin in the middle is definitely the most my style. For the other two, I, I don't know, I just kind of liked the way they already looked and I just wanted to change them into a drawn version of themselves, which I still think looks good. It's just, I think the penguin in the middle is more my style. But anyway, coloring this was a lot of fun. Once I had all the line art done, it was exciting to kind of add all the color and everything because as I did this, it was bringing me more and more to the end result and I've never done anything like this. I've never done photo redraws like, or I guess I should say I've done photo redraws, but I haven't done like an overlay like this where I'm legitimately like transferring what is in reality and turning it exactly into a piece of artwork. I've never done that before. So I think this challenge is really awesome and I'm really glad it started circulating. I don't really know where it came from. I don't know who began it, but it's just, it's really interesting. <laughs> And I would recommend if you guys haven't heard of it or if you want to see more drawings like this, I will be posting mine on Instagram with the hashtag. I think it's hashtag tune me. Um, but you guys can go check out that hashtag as well if you have an Instagram account. It might be on Twitter as well. Don't know. And I'm, there's probably some YouTube videos circulating like this one of uh, this challenge. So definitely go check out more because some people are really, really creative with it. I've just been on Instagram browsing the explore page and I've seen so many just randomly popping up in my feed. And it's really awesome the way some people transform a drawing into like a completely different style, but it somehow all melds into the whole thing. It kind of goes with the original photo. So <laughs> I think that's really cool. And I hope you enjoyed watching me go through this challenge and hearing my thought process throughout it. And if you have any questions or if you've tried this challenge and uh, you want to share your experience, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear what you have to say, if you enjoyed it. And as always, all of my links are down in the description box below. I've got the link to my online shop where you can find all of my enamel pins, my charms, my prints, everything is down there. I also just had a huge shop update today with all new stuff. So go check that out if you're interested. And then I've got the link to my Instagram as well as my Patreon pin club. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me create myself in an anime cartoon style. And I will see you all next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time as always for my next video. I hope you have a beautiful week. Bye bye.